My next guest holds a PhD in child psychology, but earned her PhD IY as runner up on season one of NBC's show Making It. Well, now she's the host of Disney Family Sundays on Disney Plus. And today she's sharing creative DIY ideas to help keep us and our kids organized at home from her studio in Miami. Please welcome Amber Kemp Gerstel. Welcome, Amber Kemp Gerstel. Hi. So, I, as I understand it, you've left your competing days behind you. You no longer compete with crafting, but you still bring the heart to it because this is a great way for people to organize their lives, but also bonding time with the kids. Yes, I totally agree with you. I'm, I'm no longer going to be on reality television competing like I did on Making It. That is done. But I will always be here to keep you crafty and get you inspired to get a little organized, make some things that are fun, that are functional. If we can bring those two worlds together, I think that's a winner. Tell me this. You go from child psychology, though, to crafting. First of all, what's the reaction from the family? When you're like, I'm a child psychologist. Nope, I'm going to craft. I mean, I'm impressed, but were they all impressed? <laughs> No, Tamara, no, <laughs> they were not. Um, you know, I grew up in a, with a mom who was like, you're going to, you can be a doctor or a lawyer. These are your choices. Um, and now she's like, they're going to pay you to paint things. Are you sure that's going to work? But it has worked out just fine. And I'm loving what I do now. Could you have ever imagined though, this is your mom said you get paid to help people become more crafty. It is crazy that this, I mean, that this is my job. I get to work with a rainbow wall behind me every single day. And it's really living the dream. I get to be creative. It is really the dream job. All right, let's get to your dream job because I love it. I've never worked with a pegboard before. What is a pegboard normally used for? Like in a garage to keep things organized, but it usually doesn't look very good. It, it comes like, like this. It comes white and there's really nothing really to, to look at. It, it looks kind of industrial, yeah. but it's very readily available at the hardware store. It's super easy to get your hands on. And the nice thing, my biggest tip about this is get it and have them cut it for you at the store. Okay. So when you're there, ask for the dimensions that you need. And that way you don't have to, like if you don't have power tools or anything to cut it with, you don't have to worry about okay, that. Okay, so we've got the proper size of our pegboard here. You said it's normally Perfect. very industrial and white, so you're gonna take us through steps to beautify this. Exactly, so I'm gonna, I would suggest painting it. And this is another great thing, is that you can paint it and customize it. So if you're using this in a kid's room, match it with whatever colors they want. You can really, I mean, at the, once you're at the hardware store for the pegboard, you can get any color you want. You can okay. see back here, we used a really pretty, like kind of bluish um, periwinkle color. Pretty. And then all you're gonna do is grab a frame that's the same size as your pegboard that you okay. cut it down to. And you're going to place it into the frame and glue it down using wood glue. Okay. Fun fact, wood glue is actually just as strong as using nails. I did not know that wood glue was a real thing until when I started doing my own crafting. I know I'm going to just admit my secrets. I did not know that, but now I know and I have it in my in my toolbox. It's a great thing to have in your toolbox. Great. So okay. you girl, you got this. Oh, no. Okay. I got this. So. I got this wood glue. I'm ready. Okay, so we got the frame. And that's it. I mean, that's all you have to do. It's painted and it's framed, and you're going to then hang it on a wall or just like you would any other picture or any frame that you would hang on your wall, but instead, this is a pegboard. So you can use this as a command center around your home. You can use this in your kids' room to display art. So we have a bunch of things, and I think you have some as well, Cameron, right, right, right so next you use, to you. And so how we start this, we have these hooks. Is that what we do with this? Yeah, so at the hardware store, you're gonna have hooks and you can purchase them right there next, they're next to the pegboard, and they just slide right into the pegboard and give you somewhere to place any of the items that you'd like to keep organized. There you go, exactly, just like that. This is really easy. I could- Right, I know, you're looking You're looking skeptical, like you're thinking <laughs> this should be more hard. <laughs> right, no, I'm looking at these because these little buckets are pretty secure. How, and so yeah, you just- You just put the buckets right there on the pegboard, all of these hooks, all these buckets, all of these, things that you can hang from, you can get them right at the hardware store. It's real, it, I'm embarrassed how simple it is, but you can, I mean, you can lie to people and say it was really hard for you to make if you want. Okay, well, no, that, I don't want to do that, that's for sure. Well, yes, I do. I'm like, you know how long it took me to do this pegboard. Um, now, I love this cute little idea. You have um, the hooks and then you've put a little string and these adorable yes. clothes pins. So this is a great way to personalize it. Oh, I love that. Yeah, so I have I have pictures of my, my family as well. And so you're just going to grab a few clothes pins mm -hmm. and tie a string from one hook to the other, That's and you're good. gonna place the photos right there. Okay. So these are my kiddos, you've got yours. Oh, 
That's very, very cute. I like this too at the bottom where you have um, these little baskets here because then you can put a lot of your crafting because now that I'm into crafting, to be honest, I feel like I have all these bins, but if I don't see it, <laughs> I don't use it. And so if I yeah. see things, I, I, it's better off for me. Yeah, I think in crafting, you're absolutely right. If you see it, you can be inspired by it. So put it in a way that is functional, but also beautiful. This would be a great way to organize art supplies for your kids if you want to have them like have regular access to this stuff. And then, you know, use the hooks even for everyday items like a keychain or your mask or a, you know, a, a, right. a clutch or a zipper pouch. Okay, you got me sold on pegboard. <laughs> you sold me on it. I love it. Coming up, a problem every parent faces. Where do you put all the toys when your kids are done? Amber has the answer. Class continues next. on the box. Oh, well, that's oh, the question, huh? That's going to be fun. It's a really mm -hmm. easy trick. I'll show you just how it's done. We've gotten all letters painted. They're dry. And now we can add them to the toy boxes. We really only have to use one really cool tool, which is hot glue. All right, where you want to place it? Oh, you need a new glue right stick? Right in the middle. Oh, all right. There you go. Hold your fingers Hold right it. there. And stick that bad boy on there. <laughs> Boom! Oh, so cute. We are back with Master Crafter and founder of the popular crafting blog, Damask Love, Amber Gerstel. That was a clip from Amber helping families create storage ideas on the Disney Plus show, Disney Family Sundays. So, Amber, I have to tell you again, I mean, I don't want to make the whole show about me, but listen, <laughs> the, where do people put all the toys once you have the child? Outside of paying for college and where to store toys, I mean, it's the biggest challenge. And you have great ideas on storage. Yes, because, you know, you're, the square footage is the square footage. So one of my biggest tips is if you can, go vertical. So start using ideas that will allow you to use storage space on your walls, like the, even the pegboard idea that we just shared. One idea we use in my house is we have my son has a loft bed, which gives us space to use for his desk, for his table to work on. We have bookshelves under there. That's where he does his homework. So it really gives us double the space that we had to begin with. That's one of the tips. So shelving apparently is another important tool you want us to think about? Well, I want you to think about your doors in your house because the doors are a secret place that you can hide lots of storage. And we have a storage rack on the back of our door is where we put shoes because shoes are not that cute to look at. And you weren't using your door before, so this is a great way to use it. Okay, making a headboard out of a bookshelf. What? It's possible you can absolutely make a headboard out of a bookshelf. You can take bookshelves and put them behind the frame of the bed, and that can turn into another storage location. So there's lots of places you can kind of sneakily hide storage ideas. Okay, you have to promise me You look me like you don't it. believe me, Tamara. No, you know what? Here's how I'm going to believe you. Because the next time you come on this show, you're going to be in studio with me. Because I'm going to bring my tool belt, and we're going to go. We're going to go. We're not going to compete, but we're going to put some stuff together. Amber, thank you. Idea. For more great storage <laughs> and crafting ideas, be sure to catch Disney Family Sunday streaming now on Disney Plus.